we will be looking at the lunar cycle, otherwise known as the phases of the moon. But before we dive right into it, I think it's best that we know a little bit about the moon. One of the misconceptions of the moon is that it is made of cheese. Yes, cheese. Everybody knows the moon's made of cheese. Another misunderstanding about the moon is that it is a planet. However, the moon is not a planet, but a satellite orbiting the Earth. The moon is only a quarter of the size of our great planet Earth and has a very limited amount of gravity. The dark circles you see on the moon are called craters, which were created by the collisions of asteroids, meteors, or comets onto the moon's surface. The moon makes one rotation about every 28 days, and during those 28 days is when the lunar cycle is taking place. The moon orbits around the Earth as the Earth orbits around the sun. Therefore, the sunlight hits the moon in different amounts, causing us to see the moon in different ways. During the lunar cycle, the phases of the moon are new moon, first quarter, full moon, and last quarter. Although it may look like the moon is changing its shape, it's not. From Earth, we can only see the portion of the moon that is lit up by the sun. During the new moon, none of the moon is visible here on Earth because there is no light hitting the hemisphere of the moon that we always see. During the first quarter moon, we can see exactly half of the hemisphere facing the Earth. During the full moon, we can see an entire hemisphere of the moon because the Earth is in between the moon and the sun. And during the last quarter, we can again only see half of the hemisphere facing the Earth. The terms waxing and waning are used to describe the sunlight on the moon. Waxing refers to the light growing on the moon, and waning means that the light is growing thinner on the moon. There are some rare occasions when two full moons occur in the same month. The second of these full moons is known as the blue moon. A blue moon only occurs every two and a half years. There are also instances when the moon just gets in the way of things out in space. These instances are called eclipses. A lunar eclipse occurs when the full moon is in the shadow of the Earth, making the moon look much darker. This can last as long as an hour. A solar eclipse occurs when a new moon blocks out our view of the sun. The moon is in the way of our light, causing an eerie darkness. However, unlike the lunar eclipse, the solar eclipse cannot be viewed safely with the naked eye. To safely view a solar eclipse, prepare a box as shown here with the pinhole at one end and a white sheet of paper at the other end on the inside of the box. Standing with your back to the sun and your head inside the box, let the sun's light shine through the pinhole and observe a small image of the solar eclipse on the white sheet of paper. Never look through the pinhole at the sun or a solar eclipse. This could cause major eye damage and possible blindness. So now I hope you have a better understanding of the lunar cycle and why it occurs. Watch your calendar so you can have the opportunity to see all of the different views of the moon and those eclipses too.